The big shiny feature of 3.0 Sprite Editor is that you now have custom, custom animation states. states. You can change the look of your sprites without having to switch sprite sheets anymore. You can have one image with different states for each character. Remember how 2.0 sprites used to only have two frames when walking? You can now edit this animation and increase the frame count as much as you want. To start, let's create an animation state by moving to the Animations menu in the bottom left. Click the plus icon to make a new state. On the right, you can adjust animation settings like the state name. It's a good idea to name your states relevant to your game, like shooting or swinging a sword. Besides naming your animation state, you can also change its type. The type system is made to let you automatically animate actors when they do certain actions, like look a different direction or move in that direction. By default, you start with a fixed direction, which only gives you an idle state that plays indefinitely. However, if you change the animation type to four directions, you now have up, down, left, and right substates, and it will automatically switch to these substates based on its direction. If you need more specific logic for changing these substates, you should probably just make a new animation state and code that logic back in the game world window. I recommend you experiment and try out the different animation types for yourself. Let's get back to the game I'm making. In my game, I'll be making a visual novel with multiple characters. I only want one actor to show all the talk sprites to keep the actor count low. I'll make one state for Fox, the first character, and I'll make another state for Falco, the second character. Now, we have a new animation state here, but it's currently empty. In the middle of our screen is a blue and white rectangle, which makes up the frame canvas. We need to paint onto the frame canvas for the sprite to appear in-game. If you click on one tile and move your mouse over to the canvas, it'll place that section of the sprite sheet onto the canvas. Once you've placed a tile and deselected everything in the tile palette, you can click on the canvas to bring up the sprite tile menu on the right. You can move, flip, or reorder each tile relative to one another. If you use color mode, you can set the object palette for each tile. Palettes are no longer specific colors, they're now a palette index. I'll show you more about this in a future video. Let's skip ahead a bit, where I've got Falco's animation state also painted on. So if we have a couple of animation states, how do we change between them in our game? If we go back to the game world and click on the scene, or anything that can take a new script, and we add an event, and search for set actor animation state, now you can pick between all your different animation states. Let's test it. Normally, it defaults to Fox's sprite, but I set it to go to Falco's sprite instead. And yeah, sure enough, the sprite changed to Falco's animation state. Now, if you find yourself with extra animation states or extra frames, you can delete both of these using the down arrow in the very top right of the window. Choose Delete Frame or Delete Animation State. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. There's also the GB Studio Discord, which has a whole wealth of information with lots of people willing to answer questions. If you guys like this video, make sure to subscribe for more GB Studio 3.0 tutorials. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next one.